intervention I shall focus on the influence that right wing extremism has on the mainstream politics in Slovakia. Uh, I will first uh, briefly present several basic facts about the hardcore extremists uh, who try to directly engage uh, in party politics. And after that, I will discuss something that I consider to be a more significant problem. The fact, the fact that right-wing extremist rhetoric has penetrated also the discourse of established democratic parties. So, to begin with, let us have a look at those who more or less openly state their affiliation to neo-Nazism or other right-wing extremist ideologies. For a long time, uh, Slovenska Pospolitost, in English, uh, Slovak Brotherhood, uh, has been the most prominent and visible neo-Nazi group. Uh, their members were explicitly racist, anti-Semitic, homophobic, and anti-immigration. This group is still active, but many of its members have created a political party named People's Party Our Slovakia. Uh, the party stood for parliamentary and communal, communal elections. Uh, they elect electoral program focused on several issues, fighting corruption in politics, Slovakia's uh, exile from the NATO, uh, improving working class living conditions, freedom of speech. However, their program focused predominantly on Roma. The Roma minority is defined as uh, enemy number one. Mm -hmm. And they calling for the final solution of the gypsy problem. Uh, these calls as well as the whole of Slovakia party are unacceptable and um, the party achieved only very marginal uh, electoral success around 1.33 percentage. What is nevertheless alarming is how this party has managed to force mainstream political parties to reflect the issues of Roma. Whereas in the previous electoral period, the Roma issues were practically absent, absent in uh, politics, the 2010 election brought a fundamental shift uh, in this regard. Each party did reflect Roma issues to some extent in their electoral programs or pre-election discourse. The usual suspect in this regard is definitely the Slovak National Party. However, anti-Roma discourse could have been uh, observed to be uh, practiced also by right-wing parties that were previously considered to be relatively moderate in this regard. The original program of the governing party claimed that even, even Roma uh, will have to work. The Christian Democratic Minister, for example, uh, of the interior says that segregation is an answer to the Roma issue. He also created a position of a Roma crime advisor whereby he expressed uh, cultural and official ambiguous relationships between the ethnicity and the crime. Even the self-proclaimed liberal party contains individuals who are able to write about Roma in the sense that parasites do not deserve houses and privileges. So in one sentence, Roma became to be a profiling political issue. And this is happening not only rhetorically, but also on the level of policy making. Uh, one can just conclude that the existence of extreme political right has little importance per se. It has nevertheless succeed, succeeded to catalyze the mainstreaming of a negative image of Roma. The established parties often claim that they need to move closer to nationalist voters in order to prevent them from voting for the hardcore extremists. Uh, it is true that it takes votes away from the extremist parties, but by doing so, this activity also makes the um, existing parties more extremist. And these are very shocking developments. I have, I have tried to, uh, to discuss the domestic forces that I found uh, the most relevant uh, for our today workshop. However, before I come to the very end, let me focus our attention to one more point, namely Roma uh, evictions that took place in the Western Europe. Uh, it is often the case that the Roma issue is taken to the Eastern European affair. Politicians from the so-called old member states uh, indulge in uh, teaching us Eastern Europeans how to deal with Roma and the Roma issue. And 
As I have just admitted in my intervention, we do have some serious problems at home. However, when countries such as Italy or France uh, or, or others start to face similar issues, they often tend to behave even worse. And, uh, and this obviously only worsens the situation in the post-communist countries, uh, post-communist Europe, uh, because our politicians see uh, the example and feel free to act freely against the minorities and their human rights. Thank, thank you very much indeed. Uh, thank you to all of you uh, for such a fascinating start and for getting so much material, so much information.